Hello fellow LEGO fans, my name's Tom and I'm a LEGO addict. I've been playing and building with LEGO since I was just a baby. Starting out with Duplo, then at age 3 got my first ever LEGO kit. Ever since then, I've been hooked. Fortunately for me, I've never entered the dark age of LEGO, so I've been steadily buying and collecting LEGO for nearly 30 years, so I've amassed a very nice collection of some very old and hard to find sets. As you may have gathered from my other videos, my main LEGO interest is trains, and that is what I will mostly be concentrating on in my videos. But I still have collected a lot of LEGO Town City collection, so I may do a few sets from there if there is any interest. Now a few years ago, my wife and I was lucky enough to have a beautiful baby boy, TJ, and I was faced with the question feared by many LEGO collectors. Do I share or hide the LEGO until my son's old enough? Well, if you watch my other videos, I think you can work out which one I went for. After all, I can just rebuild it. So that's the introduction over with. Now on to what this video and the others to follow are all about. We will be building and reviewing, slowly but surely, the entire LEGO train collection. One by one, in no particular order, from the first LEGO train to the ones in the shop today. Brick by brick. But obviously, we need somewhere to build them. So today, we'll be building set 10027 the train shed so come on tj put on your hard hat and let's get building There we are, 633 pieces later, the train shed. I think it's a really nice kit. Includes a lot of details, which I'll show you all in a second. Even comes with four bits of 9 volt track. And two minifigures. really nice detail on this set from the little vice the pillar drill oil can even a lathe and working bench There's a lot of effort gone into that to make these look realistic and the sort of items you would have in a workshop now lego have designed this set to be able to hinge apart down the middle so you can open it up to make the shed longer and also to get access and see all the insides however I've bought a second one and just put them back to back to make a nicer looking longer shed but of course now the only way to view inside is just to take the roof off which it easily comes off and there you can see all those great details again so that's the train shed built now we are ready to start building the trains. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to comment and let me know which trains you would like me to do first. After all, there's plenty to choose from, including but not limited to the following. So thank you for watching and we will see you again soon.